Hello and welcome to Movie Trailer Rankings. If you want to know if the new trailer for Nine Bullets will leave you crying tears of joy or tears of pain, you're in the right place. We want to know too, so we're going to analyze, score, and rank this trailer. And where will it end up on the leaderboards? We think it'll depend on these key factors, so look for them as we watch the trailer. And as always, let us know what you think by posting comments below. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hi, Dad. When are you coming home? Sam, listen to me. Don't be scared, all right? That emergency escape plan that we've been practicing. I need you to get out of that house. Everything is going to be fine. Sam is okay. We are okay. Hi, Jack. Where's the boy? What boy? I don't need a kid, a dog, okay? You're gonna be okay, I promise. Are they gonna get away with killing my family? They're professional killers. I'm gonna come for anyone who tries to screw Jack. If they find you with me, they're sure to kill you. Gypsy, you took the kid. Who are you hiding from? Batman. You serious? You're using that kid. I know you, because I'm the guy that pulled you up from the gutter. I got a chance to change my life. I can't let anything, including a kid, get in the way of that. Be strong. Don't quit. Well, a bowl you can't. Not today. <laughs> that boy's mine, Gypsy! Who kill us both? Gypsy! All right, hey, this is the first time that you have been to our channel. Welcome. We're glad that you're here. If you want to learn more about how we rank movie trailers, we made a video for that. Click in the upper right-hand corner of the screen or in the description below to, to find that video. Uh, in order to rank this trailer, first we need to cover a few of what we call critical non-factors. These are things about the movie that we don't want to let affect our score of the trailer. So some of the critical non-factors for this trailer are... It's a movie with kids and pets in it. <laughs> Never a big fan of kids and pets. Sometimes... They're there and, and don't really serve much of a purpose. Not quite sure what to make of this one. They always tell you to avoid kids and pets when you're making movies, but uh, people seem to like them, so they end up in a lot. Anyway, we're not going to hold that against this trailer, whether you like that or not. And then there's a couple of tropes kind of going on around here. This is an, an action movie, but it's sort of got what I'm going to refer to, and I think others have called the lone wolf and cub trope. And this is this idea of you sort of have this warrior or strong character who's guarding over a child and you see this the lone wolf and cub is this manga uh, from it's a japanese manga and it's been around for the idea has been around for a very long time you see it in movies and tv shows all the time some of the notable ones are ones like the professional or uh, road to perdition things like that and they, and they see they come in different varieties angelina jolie just made one last year even it's got a, a sort of a variation on it too Regardless, we're not going to hold any of that against the trailer when we see it in here. We're not going to hold it against the trailer. This is just part of the movie and what they have to work with. And then there's also like this diner scene that they're in. Why is it that every time somebody's on the run, they end up in a diner? There's so... I, somebody has to do a retrospective on that, I think. So many diner scenes in action movies. Everybody's always in a diner. Nobody ever goes to uh, McDonald's. You know, that's weird. Anyway, let's move on to scoring. And this is a pretty straightforward movie, so it gets a mostly straightforward trailer. There's not a lot wrong here. Not in a there's not a lot that stands out either though. So technically it's very good. Cuts are clean, the music and sound effects are put to good use. Though I maybe a stronger music track could have helped sort of drive this trailer forward more. Instead it sort of feels like the music is just kind of along for the ride. They're giving away a fair amount of the plot, but not everything, so it's decent on the narrative front. It's nice that this film has uh, Lena Headey in it, in the lead role. She seems to be bringing some acting chops to a role where you wouldn't otherwise have ex expected to see them. The trailer editors do a good job of featuring her, too, and so that's, um, you know, we're not going to hold the casting or, or give them credit for the casting, but they're doing a good job of using her and uh, the scenes that she's in. That shot of her shedding a tear, 
I think really helps set her and maybe this movie apart from some of those countless other versions that we've been talking about. Like, I don't think you'd see uh, Jason Stratham doing that or even The Mandalorian. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Is that tier enough? Are those shots enough? Maybe not. But overall, we're going to give the trailer for Nine Bullets a score of 6.6 out of 10. We'll maybe see another variation on this trailer as we move forward. Who knows? So uh, before this movie comes out. So let's see uh, where it lands on the leaderboard. It's going to be number three for the week, 14 for the month, and down in the 40s for the year. Not so great, but uh, not terrible either. If you like what you've seen here and you want to see more movie trailer reviews and rankings like this, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell button. It really helps our channel. Share this. Let other people know what's going on here. And we want to hear from you too. Let us know what you think. Did we get it right? Did we get it wrong? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. Don't go anywhere. More trailer reviews are just a click away.